Hello and welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to do a review over my Speedy V25 and the Damier Ben print. Okay. When I tell y'all I love this bag, I absolutely love this bag. I love the Speedy V25 because it's very convenient. It's a very casual bag. It's my everyday bag. I don't have to think about it. I just grab it and go. I love this bag. I've done so much research on this bag, it makes no sense. I've seen so many YouTube videos of what's in my Speedy B25 or overview of a Speedy B25 or just different recommendations that I've seen on YouTube about this bag. And I pulled the trigger on it and I'm so glad that I did because this is what this is one of my favorite bags in my collection and I don't have many because I'm just starting my collection as well okay so now I'm gonna go into a bit of an overview of the bag okay so here's the Speedy B25 and the DE print this is the front the side I did put a puff just to make it cute We got this side, on that side, and the bottom. So it doesn't have any feet at the bottom. All right, now turn her back around. Okay. So she does have two top handles. Um, which I love. I'm so glad that this is treated leather and it's not the Vachetta. I don't have to worry about oil stains. I don't have to worry about any watermarks or any of that. Like this color is going to stay this color unlike the monogram version. Uh, so the wear and tear on it, she is still pretty good. I don't have any um, glazing issues on the handles. I don't have any cracking on the handles. So there are two little buttons here that says Louis Vuitton. Um, now that I'm like, inspecting, there's a few scratches, but not much. So there's two here. And then on this hardware here, it's not bad. I know I mentioned in my video with my high-rise bun bag that I wish this Speedy B25 had the upgraded hardware, but I'm okay. It's not fine. It's fine. And then on this handle, there's not much wear and tear on it at all. And then there's two zippers. I'll let you see. And it does have LV on both zippers. There are there's a few scratches, but not not a lot. Still looks nice. And then on the side where you attach the strap, the hardware doesn't look so bad. And then on that little button it says Louis Vuitton as well. And then the same as this side. And then Louis Vuitton as well. I did put a puff. I got it from Amazon. I wanted it to look cute. And I chose a white puff. I came across Belinda Celine's YouTube channel. I love her YouTube. She used to do a lot of fashion and luxury content. I just got that from her. I thought that was really cute. And I just wanted to get a puff. And the white one was just the perfect one to put on it. Alright, so now I'm going to just unzip and show you the inside of the bag. I do have an organizer in. The zipper is not too bad. And mine might be a little bit stiff because I actually don't zip my bag when I use it. I just keep it open. Okay, so I, like I mentioned, I do have an organizer in here. Because if not, it's just going to be a black hole. It's a really big um, opening. And I'll pull up my organizer so you can see. Actually, I'm going to take the strap out first, and I'll go over this in a minute, and I'll just show you the organizer. Let's see. Okay, so that's just that. As I mentioned, I did get this from Amazon. You know, it's probably maybe like 28 bucks on Amazon, and I just wanted to get it to just kind of put a little structure in my bag. 
was necessary to have structure in it probably not but I don't like a saggy bag and that's one of the reasons why I did not go for the speedy 30 bandolier in the Damier bin print because it just looks huge on me like I said I am 5'10 so I am pretty tall and I tried that bag on and even for me it just looked too big it looked like I had a piece of luggage on the side of my hip so I chose the 25 side okay and then on the inside I keep my lock and key which I've never opened before so here is the lock and upon inspecting this lock it does have some tarnishing here I don't know if it's going to show well I don't want to blind you guys and I don't know why I've never it's probably because I never taken my lock out of my bag I don't use it I just keep it in this pouch and I'll organize it in my bag so that is very interesting that it would even have this tarnishing here in the front where it says Louis Vuitton on the back of it it just has an LV which isn't bad Yep, there it is. I hope you guys can see it. Okay, as I mentioned, it does come with two keys, and I can try to take that out for you as well. Yep. Okay, here's the two keys, and I'm going to put all of this back in this bag because I don't want to lose it. Like I said, I don't take this out. I don't do anything with this lock. It just sits in my bag. Okay, we we'll close that back, and I'm going to put it back in that pocket that you just seen me get it out of. All right. Okay. So here's the inside of my organizer. Like I mentioned, I did get this from Amazon. She is a bit dirty on the inside. I took out that middle compartment, the one that kind of sits here in these black strap. I mean, I guess it's what Velcro, and it just sits inside. As I mentioned in a previous video, I do not like my bags to be compartmentalized. I do want to protect my bag, but I don't want to have to put my put my items in. Okay, so I'm going to put this here. I'm going to put this here. No, I just dump everything in here. I don't have time for that. <laughs> I just don't. Maybe one day when I grow up, I might see the benefit of having a compartmentalized bag before it's right now. I just dump it and I keep it moving. Okay, so I'm going to bring my bag back over and I'm going to show you the inside. And so she has the red interior. Beautiful red interior. I think the red on the chocolate brown just looks really nice and it is a black hole there's nothing in there there's no compartments it's a black hole and it's it's, it's a decent size all right and it is it a zipper compartment here as well which i don't use because i do have my organizer but i'm opening it for the sake of this video you can put a few items in there um i guess so you guys can see it if you are thinking about getting this bag and you wanted to use that I'm gonna try to put my round corn purse in there see if it fits I mean it sits in there but um, let's see do I have anything smaller I'm gonna try to put my phone but I doubt that's gonna go in there yeah so there, there's a pocket there you there is something that you can put in there I just don't have anything there's the opening and then on this side, there is a little key ring that you can add your keys on it to, to hang them down. And then there's a button that says Louis Vuitton. And then on this side, there's another button that says Louis Vuitton. Okay. So that is the inside of my bag. So now I'm going to put my organizer back in. Just give me a second. So I have my organizer back inside my bag. So wear and tear. Um, as I showed you, I do have some scratches on the hardware. Uh, the zipper could be better. It's probably because I don't use my zipper that is so hard to zip at times. I just kind of just, you see, you guys see that? it's not bad, but I just kind of just leave it open. Um, I did notice when I did a 360 of my bag that I had a little scuff back here on the canvas. And I'm not sure if it's just because of a stain and I can just take a, 
a water wipe and wipe that up. I haven't tried it yet, but there's right there on the canvas. It's not a rip or anything. I just don't know what I actually did to it. But like I said, I can just get a water wipe and wipe that up and it should be fine. The handles are perfect. There's no sign of wear and tear on the handles. Um, but now I'm going to show you the strap that actually comes with the bag. And this strap, I'm so surprised at the condition that it is in. Okay. So here's the strap. The strap is adjustable. I have it on the longest, longest setting because, like I said, I am a tall I'm 5'10". Alright, so. Now, this strap has so much wear. And it's just mainly on this little piece here, and I don't know why. Um, I kind of noticed this maybe a few months after using the bag, after I got it, that it just started just crinkling up like this, and I don't know why. Um, it doesn't bother me that bad because I don't really care when I have it on. For, ooh, for a bag for this amount of money, I'm like, is it something that I'm doing, or am I not storing my... Um, if I'm not storing my strap right, I don't know. Is it a defect? I'm not sure, but I'm not I'm not gonna investigate it. On this side, here is the the clasp. I'm trying to see if it focus. I don't want to blind you guys, but it says Louis Vuitton on it. On the clasp. It's really, it's really nice, really good quality. Um, here's the strap with the wrinkles on it and it kind of reminds me of I did see like some videos of the graceful handle that's what this remind me of when the when the letter the leather crinkles on it okay and then there's the part where you attach here you can actually take this middle piece out I do have some crinkling here and on on these holes which is weird because I don't necessarily use these two Alright, I have a little crinkle in here, but it's not too bad. And this is the last piece. And this and this piece of the strap is perfect. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. And on the end of this class, it's really nice as well. And it says Louis Vuitton. I'm not sure why that is not focusing, so I do apologize. And then the back of the strap looks good. No issues. And this is a little crinkle there, but it's not bad. And then on this side, it looks perfect. It's just this side where all the crinkles are at. All right, so like I said, this strap is adjustable. So this whole middle section can come out. And I'm going to show you guys that. And this, if you want to turn it into a shoulder bag, this is what you're going to do. You're going to take out this middle section. And then you're just left with this piece. Set that down, and I'm going to take out the other side. Okay, I'm going to set this middle piece to the side. And I'm going to strap this in. Put it through this hoop. And I'm going to hook it. Alright, so now my strap is short. And on this setting, you can use it as a shoulder bag. And I'm going to attach it to the bag and show you the length of it as well. And there it is. And that's the length of the shoulder bag. I'm going to put it down and I'm going to attach that piece back on and I'm going to show you how long it is that will make it back into a crossbody, which is how I carry it. First got the bag, I was using it as a shoulder bag. You know, it was cute. It was a moment, but then life hit me real hard. It's like, girl, no ma'am, <laughs> you need both of your hands and you don't have time for a bag to be slipping off your shoulder. Just put that thing crossbody and call it a day. And that's just how I've been wearing it ever since. And it's real convenient when I'm out um, with my little one, with the family. I just throw it on crossbody. All right, so I'm going to put this piece back in. Okay. And now it is longer again. Okay. And 
and there it is. It is much longer. So I just gave you the overview of the Speedy V25. Um, just let me know your thoughts on this bag. Do you have it? Do you own it? Do you wish to own it? Was my video helpful for you in making your decision of whether or not you want to own this little beauty? Thank you guys for watching my video and hanging out with me. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.